photo key. Yay! Um, off to help a mate at her old villa again. Maybe do some exercise. Let's see. On our way to a Apotiki, we stopped at Ahiwa Oyster Farm to get some lovely food. Mm -hmm. How was that, dear? <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Inhaled it. We did. Look at this beautiful setting. Yeah. Hi, and welcome to Sporty Adventures. We're just a middle-aged couple that like to get out there and have fun. <laughs> we like to keep active on the weekends, so we try and get out on our mountain bikes. And we do odd trails, sometimes we do organised ones. We started out as triathletes, and we still enjoy doing swim bike runs. I moved into Coast to Coast, and man, that was hard work and an experience. Nowadays, we enjoy a little bit of time out, walking on the beaches, and just exploring the lovely trails and tracks around New Zealand. We like getting our feet wet and just keeping active. is a bad trait. After TT finished her cup of tea and me a lovely coffee and some breakfast. So today we're going to do a little kind of mountain bike ride um, out to the Pippi Beds as Tuleri said. We're right beside the road. There's a barrier here so you can feel quite safe. Um, good surface to ride on and it's a lovely morning. Sun's out. Bit of a wet drive down yesterday. So very pleased to get out in this lovely weather today. So we turned off the uh, little track we're on. Um, right beside the main road. Now we're going to do the other side of the Dunes Trail. Wow. So we're coming past the Surf Life Saving Club. The gold Pahuta car was stretching out right across the trail. Sun's out, lovely morning. Lots of chit chat, as always. As we followed the trail, you go over a couple of bridges and a few stiles that you have to go through, but you're mainly following along the beach with the road right beside you, but you feel really safe. The views were outstanding and you just seem to be popping in and out and up and down as you cruise along. We warmed up as we kept on going, as the sun came out and it was really nice. And yes, the girls never stopped talking the whole way. I don't know what they talked about. 
but it was a great fun and lots of laughter. We're at the pippy beds, mainly because there's probably little uh, pippies here, little <laughs> shellfish. I might pop one up in the video. Um, this is the end of our trail today because we're going to turn around and go back because we have some activities to do this afternoon. So we started here and we are there. What a cool little ride all the way along. Great morning to be out. Straight out there, down a little bit, there is White Island, active volcano. She's steaming today. And she's blowing today. Good sign, folks. If she's steaming, great sign. She's active, yeah. When it's uh, not steaming, it's getting ready to erupt. Okay. Yeah. stopped at this memorial on the way back and had a quick look at the beach at the same time. So we're back at the uh, surf club now. Um, great little facilities here. Uh, they got toilets, uh, shower and the club rooms there. This is the hardest part of the whole journey, is going up this hill. What fantastic ride so far. Back in Apodiyi, and the golf course is just there. It's a shared bridge, so you've got to be careful of other people coming the other way. And the main road into Apodiki. We're stopped. We have. <laughs> and... Um, we mentioned coffee, I couldn't say no. And look at the sign, what's it say? <gasps> Bikes accepted. Yes. Mm. Okay. Right. And we go. No, I think she's. This 
coffee is bliss made with love it is really cool place The only one. <laughs> We're just woken up a little car. Oh, you're gonna fall over again. No? Come on up, big head. Look at that big stretch. You're a cutie. This is the big guard dog. Oh, did you chase a cat? So after a quick little debrief, we worked out a plan to tidy up the kitchen. Uh, cleaning out all the cupboards and then we got stuck in with paint brushes and gave them a new coat of paint and a fresh look. Also patching up a few holes as well. This cupboard in the hallway also needed to come out as it didn't lead to anywhere. So um, I got stuck into it and ripped it apart so that they can board over it and clean the hallway up as well. After cleaning out the kitchen and doing the painting, we had to let it dry for a little while. So we headed out for a quick little swim and a refresh. After making our way across this little channel, we found a perfect swimming hole and the water was very fresh. <laughs> After watching the girls swim, I decided I'd have a go at jumping off this little rock. But I was blown away by the area and it was really cool. We have in here oats, quinoa, LSA, and freshly cracked walnuts, which are just happening, and the um, what? cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick, and the apple is about to go in very soon. Apples fresh off the tree. And this is going to be an overnight oats that we're going to cook in the crock pot. So watch out, Fancy. we will give you a taste report in the morning. <laughs> Looks divine and watch out. I might have so much energy today, I might be jumping out of my skin. And away we go up this way. After that great breakfast, we headed out for a little walk. And it was a stunning morning to do it too. Up this way, folks. So we're going straight up this paddock. And it's a little bit of a climb, but lovely morning. The views on top of the pass site were amazing. You can see back into Ahiwa Harbour and a Hopi Spit and in the distance you can just get a glimpse of Whale Island. Did the 
pie. And you can just make out the new entrance into Apodiki. After saying goodbye to Kate, me, Teleri and TT headed to the beach for a refreshing swim. The sun was out so we just had to have a swim. The water was quite fresh though. But it was the best way to finish this weekend. 